I didn't expect to fall in love with my dog, you know, my brother's dog. And so um, when he came back from his trip, uh, we asked if we could keep him. Animal lover Amy Leenan fell in love with a Pomeranian named Prince. After she adopted him from her brother, Prince enjoyed a long and beautiful life. He was just so energetic and adorable and people focused. So it was, it was pretty easy, snuggly, very much a lap dog. Um, most Pomeranians are, but, but this one more so than, than any of the other dogs we'd had. But like all beloved pets, there comes the day we have to say goodbye. When Prince began coughing around age 12, Amy took him to the vet and discovered he had a collapsing trachea, and because of his age, there was nothing that could be done. By 16, he began collapsing. We realized that that was what was going on, was that he was getting worse and it started to happen more frequently where he would collapse. Um, and this was within a two week time span that he would collapse and then he would revive with chest compressions. Um, and once he revived on his own, but that's when we realized we had to call uh, and make a plan because we didn't want him to go when we weren't home. We wanted to be able to say goodbye. Amy called Minnesota Pets, an agency that's only service is home euthanizing. Veterinarian Rebecca McComas got the idea to start Minnesota Pets when her two beagles were approaching the end of their lives. She knew she'd euthanize them at home rather than a clinic and figured other pet owners might want the same. And she was right. The group of veterinarians make house calls every day across the seven county metro. People tell us the difference between those two experiences is remarkable. Beautiful is a word that I hear a lot from people. That death is a very sad time, but it can be beautiful. Potential clients call Dr. McComas and discuss the condition of their pet, which helps the owner decide if euthanizing is the right choice. Once the appointment is set, one of the four vets on staff visits the home, administers a sedative to relax the pet, and when the owner is ready, administers one last shot to stop the heart. The vet came in and was really gentle with us, got to know us and got to know our dog who was happy and walking around. and. Um, we kept trying to keep him from getting excited <laughs> and uh, and she helped us through the process of saying, saying goodbye and it was nice to be able to grieve him right there in the comforts of our home. Dr. McComa says in her 20 years of service it's the most rewarding work she's ever done. It is not the happy moment of welcoming your pet for the first time into your home, but it's that final moment of saying goodbye, which is a very powerful moment to be a witness to. And that feels like a privilege to me. Minnesota Pets also has a counselor available to help both their clients and the doctors work through their grief. People who've used the service can't imagine doing it any other way. It gives their pet a comforting way to pass, and gives the family the guarantee of one last goodbye. Not that you can control everything in life, but that, that we could give this gift to him, uh, that he didn't have to pass uh, scared and uh, uncomfortable or suffering or suffocating, that we could do it in, in a gentle way.